All right, so today I thought I'd make a drink animation for my game and then make it do cool stuff. So we're in the game. Oh, we see this thing right here. Let's pick it up. I'm sure it's fine. Let's go ahead and try it out. So I'm gonna click the drink. Bra! His head gets big. Oh man, maybe this, these other two will fix the situation. Oop, ran right over it. Got it. So I got normal size. Let's try that one. Brah, good thing I drank that. But we got grow, I wonder what that does. Sweet. I don't know how big he can get, but he can get pretty big. Can't tiny. I thought that'd be cool. Let's go ahead and get started with that. I have an empty base plate right here and I'm gonna make my drink a tool so I can pick it up and then I can use an animation with it. Let's go to workspace, hit the plus, and we'll add a tool to the workspace. Let's call the tool, how about grow drink? And I'm gonna need a handle, right? I need some sort of part that we can see in the world. Let's go to part and we'll put a cylinder out there. There it is. And we're gonna call this handle, right? It's gotta be spelled like that too, or it's not gonna work, handle. Let's drag the handle into the grow drink. Now I wanna change the size of the handle so it makes a little more sense. Let's go down here to size. I'll make it one by 0.4, make it 0.4 and 0.4. All right, let's pick that up and see what we're dealing with. We're gonna modify the grip like we did in some of the other animation videos. Oh yeah, so that's looking pretty good, but it's not really held right. We want it up and down. So I can adjust this can while I'm playing the game, but it's not gonna save. So I gotta write, I gotta write down what my adjustments are. Let's do that though, it's gonna save some time. We'll go to workspace, go to SimTag Gamer 7. He's holding the can, the grow drink. Click grow drink, the tool itself, not the handle. And we're gonna go down to where it says grip in the properties. And I'm gonna change through experience. I know that it's usually the Z, right? So let's do 90 degrees in the Z. If it doesn't change, that's all right. Put it away, pull it back out. Ah, oh, look at that. All right, so it's not quite following his hand the way I want it. I might wanna change that a little bit. Maybe we'll make it 75 degrees. So I played around with these a lot, so I know I know what to adjust. So you need to practice with it. This way it's not following his hand up and down. So you might not know which one to do, the X or the Y. I happen to know that it's the Y, but I can't remember if it's positive or negative. Let's try and change it positive 20 degrees. Ah, oh, wrong way. See, I didn't have to put it away that time, it changed. But you might have to put the drink away and bring it back out. Let's try a negative. Oh, that's better. Cool, and it's in his hand a little bit. Let's move it out away from his hand. And once again, because I play with this stuff, I know that it's on the Z. I'll just move it 0.1 on the Z. Ah, looking good. All right, now, when we stop playing our game, we're gonna lose these. So let's go ahead and save this. I'll do a control C, I'll go off screen, I'll paste it. I'm gonna turn this off. I remember the grip position, that one's easy, right? Click the grow, go down to the grip. So our position, we did a point one here. And then the orientation, I'll just do a control V, I still have that in the buffer. Cool, now when we pick it up, it's gonna be uh, correct in his hand. Before we get into our animation, let's just do a few more things to our tool. We'll go to the handle, you could put like a image on it or something. I'm just gonna make the can like green or something like that. And then in the grow drink tool, let's hit the plus. We're gonna need an animation. We haven't created the animation yet. I'm gonna call this drink anim. And then I'm gonna need a local script for when I click, I can do a drink, right? So I'll hit the plus. We'll do a local script, and then what should we call this? We'll call this like, drink it. 
Another thing I'm going to need, I'm going to use a remote event to do server side stuff. And I'm going to grow my character on the server side. So let's hit the plus. And we're going to hit an R for remote event. And the remote event is going to fire off a server side event. We can add that too, right? Hit the plus, And then we'll get a script. That's going to do our server side stuff. And it's also going to catch the server side event. Here, uh, we can do like do cool stuff or something like that, right? Do server stuff. How about that? Do server stuff. That way we know. All right, let's also get our sound while we're still working here. Let's go to our toolbox and then audio selected under marketplace. And I'm going to search for Slurp. Oh, I like this recently searched. Let's see. Perfect. I'm going to click on the tool. And then when I hit insert, it's going to go right in the tool. You can drag it though if, into the tool if it, you had the workspace or something selected. I think I'm just going to call this sound because I'm only going to have one sound. All right, now our tool is looking pretty good. Let's do a few more things though to the local script before we make our animation just to get the basics set up. All right, so I'm going to need a variable for my tool, and that'll be script.parent. I'm going to need the character, which I will set to nil. I'm also going to need the connection for the activate. I'll set that to nil. I'm going to get the tool equipped event, connect that to an anonymous function right now. I get the char, which will be the tool.parent, which we will have when we equip the tool. But we won't have that prior to that, prior to that. So that's why I didn't put it up here, right? All right, so what else? Well, well let's get our connection. We're going to try that out. Make sure there's no errors. We'll do connection equals tool activated. So when you click your mouse, that's going to fire. We'll do connect function. And let's just print do stuff, right? Let's see if it works. Also, though, before I go anywhere, do tool unequipped connect function because we don't want the drink animation working if um, we unequip the tool, right? So we'll make the char equal equal to nil again. And then we'll get the connection and we'll disconnect that activated that activated right here. So we don't have to uh, worry about drinking when we no longer have the can. Let's try this out. See if we get our print do stuff with no errors. So let's go to view output we got our hello world there that's from the server script all right we got our drink we click oh look at that do stuff make it a little bigger did it again cool now let's start building our animation i am back in my workspace i turned the player off and it is time to make our animation so i think i'll move out here a little bit so i got some room and then i'm going to go to my avatar tab I'm going to hit the rig builder. Today I'm going to do R15. Right, so select R15. Go down to whichever avatar you like. I like the mesh avatar 2012. Cool. There he is. And let's get a better look at him. I like my avatar to look that direction. All right, now I'm going to get my animation editor. I'm going to click on that. It says select the rig. There we go. I'm going to change the animation name to drink 9 2023 because I got a bunch of drink animations. I don't want to mess up any old ones. Cool. All right. Let's go to these three dots right here and set our animation priority to action so that it fires when we want it to. Let's go back to the three dots and we'll hit save. Cool. Now this is my timeline. And I am in seconds frames. So at the zero, right, this blue bar is called the scrubber bar. It's at the zero. This is where our animation is going to begin. When we're holding the tool, it's going to be up like that. 
Let's go out to the third frame, and that's when we're going to take our drink. I'm going to click that arm. If you'll notice that little blue L, that is for local mode. That means these rotations are in reference to the part that I selected. If you do a control L, that's global mode. I like local mode, All right? So you get used to one or the other. But for animations, I think local mode is better. Cool. I think I need to go up a little bit because I'm having a little trouble seeing his hand. Oh man, like I said, new keyboard pops around a bunch. I'm going to move this in. Not too bad. Let's move his hand a little bit. What is that, the green? Kind of hard to see. Yeah, that'll do it. Let's pop his shoulder up a little bit. So I click the shoulder. Is it red? Yeah. All right. And you know what? We should lean back a little bit when we do it. Let's get the upper torso. Pop them back a little bit. That's pretty good. Let's grab these keyframes right here. I'm going to do a right click. I'm going to do copy selected. And then I'm going to hold that position just for three more frames. So I'm going to Click here to get the scrubber bar out to the sixth frame. I'm going to right click. I'm going to paste keyframes. And now I'm going to try this out. It's pretty quick. You want to slow it down a little bit? We could drag these. So I'm just clicking on that top diamond and then dragging it out. There you go. Yeah, that'll work. All right, I'm going to hit these three dots. I'm going to save it again, and that is saving it inside my rig underneath these AM saves. That is good if you want to modify it later, right? But we need to publish it in order to use it via the Roblox animation ID. So I'm going to hit these three dots again, publish to Roblox, and let me make this a little smaller. We'll hit submit. Cool, get this ID right here. Now you have to publish this under the game creator's account in order for it to work in the game. So if you use this number, it won't work You have on, on mine. You have to use your number. So you have to hit that button to save it off under Roblox or your account. Then you get that number by clicking these uh, two squares. You got it. And then we're going to close it. We're going to go up to our drink animation animation ID, I'm going to do a control V, right? So I'm inside my grow drink, drink animation. I pasted that under animation ID. When I hit enter, you'll see that Roblox asset ID stuff get prepended. Let's go ahead and get our animation working in our script. So above drink anim, I have my drink it local script. Let's open that up. I'm going to need a variable for my animation. Say local. I'm just going to call it anim because I only have one animation. Tool. We're going to go to the tool level. Wait for child. And now we call this drink anim. Let's go to right after we do our equipped. We'll get the char. I'll get a variable for the humanoid. I'll get that from the char. Wait for child. Humanoid. I'm going to need the animator, animator from the humanoid. So, humanoid, wait for child, animator. And then with the animator, we're going to load our animation. So, we will get a reference to the track back from getting the animator doing a load animation with the anim and then down here with that print do stuff you can leave that there for troubleshooting if you want we're gonna get our track colon play and we can try this out let's go ahead and give it a shot now recently people have been getting a sanitization error when they go to do their animations if you get this i found it's saving the game Shutting down Roblox completely and starting again gets rid of that. I don't know if we'll get it, we'll get it, but if we do, we'll give it a shot. Oh, look at that. 
failed to load animation. So this is a new Roblox error, like within the last two weeks. I'm going to uh, pause the video. I will turn off this game, shut Roblox down completely, reload my game, and try it again. But I'm going to pause the video while I do that. All right, so I came back about an hour later. I, clo I closed everything down, saved everything off first, came back about an hour later, and it's working. So let's try it out. Hopefully they fix that sanitized error soon. I see it all over the forums too. People are like, oh man, what's going on? My stuff's not working. You just got to wait. You got to wait until everything updates on Roblox. Cool. Now it's working, right? Hopefully, by the time you're watching this video, you don't have to do any of that stuff. All right, let's add our sound. All right, so I'm going to turn my game off. I'm going to go over to drink it. And we'll get a variable for our slurp. That's on the tool. Wait for child. And we just called it sound because we only have one sound. I'm also going to need to fire off my remote event so I could do server stuff like make him grow, make him get big. So I'll do RE tool, wait for child, remote event. Now down here, in the activated, we are going to do our slurp play, and then we'll fire off our remote event to the server. There we go. Now, on the server side, let's just do a printout, make sure we're getting over there. So we're going to be checking our slurp. We're going to be checking our server stuff. So do server stuff right here. Cool. We're going to get rid of our print statement. We're going to get a variable for our tool, script.parent. And then we'll get our remote event. That's on the tool. Wait for child. Remote event. We're going to capture that remote event. We're going to say re dot on server event connect to a function the player is going to get passed the player that fired the server event is going to get passed then i think up here i'm going to do my i'm going to do my uh grow and normal size stuff so i'll do local function and for now i'm just going to say do something cool how's that we're going to pass in our player but for now, we're doing a print. We'll do a print. I'm on server side. I'm, oh man, on server side. Call it right here. Do something cool. Pass in the player. All right, let's play it. We're going to go to view, output. Make that a little bigger. Oh, our can's getting away from us. Got it. We heard the slurp, and I'm on server side. All right, so this is mostly what I wanted to cover, right? The drink animation and firing off a server event. So I'm actually going to put the code for the grow and the normal size in the description. So I'm copying it right now. You can't see it, but I'm going to put it in the description. Control C. I'm going to get this right here do a control v and this is going to grow us right we're going to get the humanoid and we're going to get the head scale the body depth scale like that and then we're just going to do a tween to increase its size let's go ahead and try that yeah all right, and then making it small again is going to be pretty simple. What we're going to do is just going to duplicate this can. Let's grab that can, do a control D, go to home, move. Let's make this one like blue, right? So this is grow drink. We're going to say normal drink, right? It's going to send us back to normal. All right, and then we got to change the color so we know the difference. Make it like, like blue. All right, and then under my do server stuff, everything's going to be the same. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to get, I'm going to look in the description. I'm going to look for the normal size script, the function, the normal size function. 
And I'm going to swap that out. Control V, normal size. So we tween back to normal. If you're already normal, it's not going to affect you. Let's play it. Get that. Might as well get the other one too, right? But we have to select grow drink. Oh, yeah. Cool. Now let's get our normal drink. Sweet. That's pretty cool. All right. I will see you in the next video.